Hey everybody, Mark here from 8 Minute Acts. So when you make a list of the all-time classic 12-string songs, the list really isn't that long. Stairway to Heaven, Hotel California, More Than a Feeling. There, you know, there's maybe 20 songs on the list. I've covered a bunch of them. But one of the songs that doesn't always come up, but definitely needs to be considered one of the all-time classic 12-string songs, is Stevie Ray Vaughan's version of Life by the Drop. And that's what I'm gonna do today. I'm gonna do a live cover of it, and then I'm gonna do a lesson on it. And uh, if you're new to Stevie Ray Vaughan, this is actually one of his easier tunes to do. So um, if you always wanted to learn a Stevie Ray Vaughan song, but were a little intimidated, this is a great place to start. So Life by the Drop was written by Doyle Bramhall, who was a childhood friend of Stevie's. And interestingly, it was actually written about Stevie or the experiences that Doyle had with Stevie growing up. So it's only fitting that Stevie did it. It's definitely among his greatest vocal performances. Sadly, it wasn't released until after Stevie died. If you're new to the channel, please take a moment, hit the subscribe button, ring the bell to get notified when I upload new videos. I really do appreciate your support. And just 10 seconds out of your day makes a huge impact on my end. So uh, please consider subscribing and ring that bell so you know when I upload. So I will break down the entire song after the performance. Without further ado, here's Life by the Drop by Stevie Ray Vaughan. Hello there, my old friend. Not so long ago, it was till the end. We outside in the pouring rain On our way up the road, we started over again Living our dreams of you on top My mind is aching, Lord, it won't stop That's how it happened, living life by the drop Up and down that road and I won't have shoes Talking about good things and singing the blues You and your way and I stay behind We both knew it was just a matter of time Living our dreams of you on top That's how it happened, living life by the drop No waste of time, we're allowed today Churning up the past, there's no easy way Time's been between us, a means to an end God, it's good to be here walking again That's how it happened, living life by the drop That's how it happened, living life by the drop so let's break down life by the drop. The intro can be a little challenging, but you just have to take your time, get the rhythm down, and work it up to speed. You have to get that triplet rhythm in order to nail the intro. So I'm gonna play it really slowly to start with. If you have any questions about it or you're not feeling it, just shoot me an email at markabernally at gmail.com. I'd be happy to help you with it one-on-one. -on -one. I also have the tabs available, so if you want it tabbed out, I'll shoot that to you as well. And again, there's no catches. Everything is 100% free on my channel. So don't get too bogged down with the intro if you can't get it right away. Jump into the song, get the song down, and then you can add the intro later if you need to. So again, the song is in a shuffle feel. Definitely spend some time getting that rhythm down. So it starts off with A. If you don't know your blues in A, uh, we're gonna start off with the um, second fret fourth string in an open fifth string. And then we're gonna go to the fourth fret fourth string. 
That's A. We're gonna go from A to E, and E is gonna go down a string set. We're going to fret the uh, fifth string second fret, and we're gonna go to the fourth fret fifth string, and we're gonna hit the open E. And this blues is not your typical 12 bar blues, so we're gonna go from the A to the E to an F sharp minor chord. And then he goes to a D, which is gonna be the third and fourth strings. Same pattern. And then we're gonna start over again. After doing that twice, we go to the chorus. And the chorus is F sharp minor. And then he goes to a D to an E quickly though. So only one time there. So F sharp minor, twice. D, E. He does that twice and then F sharp minor, D7, E, back into the verse. So there are a couple little variations on it and I'll take you through those as well. In the second verse, instead of going, he just holds a, a, D, a D7 chord there. So. Okay, in the second chorus, instead of going, he goes to a D7 chord and he kind of, and he picks a, uh, an arpeggiated shuffle. So he, and in the third chorus, instead of singing the melody, the second half of the chorus, he actually plays it on the guitar. So he, So that riff in the third chorus is open fourth string and then second fret and then we're going to hammer on to the fourth fret and then so back to the second fret and then hammer on and then resolve on the uh, fifth string fourth fret. So the part is And he does this little fill several times. So. And all that is, is I'm pulling off on the uh, third fret, fifth string. And then I'm playing the uh, second fret, third string. I believe I've covered all the variations, so let's play it through one time slowly. and then back into the verse again. So you have all the parts there, just listen to it and you'll be able to put it together. If you have any questions, again, don't hesitate to reach out to me. And I really encourage you to learn this one. It's really fun to play. It sounds great and uh, it's an awesome tune. Okay, so that's all I've got for today. Don't be intimidated by that intro. Take your time, practice it, practice slowly, build it up and you will get it. This is the perfect song to perform solo on the 12 string guitar. Again, your support is really appreciated, so please subscribe, ring the bell, and hit the like button, and also leave a comment. I read and respond to every comment, so I'd love to hear what you have to say. Most importantly, have a great day, and I'll see you in the next video.